Well, good morning. It's a good night last night. It's a little bit chilly. Uh, I think um, I think we're gonna need more blankets. Uh, it's not too cold in the sense that I need a fire, but it was cold enough that I probably use an extra blanket. So I think I'll grab one from the attic later today. Looks like it's gonna be a really overcast day, which is great for filming, but not great for for warmth and things like that, but it's still supposed to get fairly warm overall. So uh, I'm going to sip my coffee here for a little bit and then take old puppers for a walk and then we'll get organized and kind of figure out where we're at. Maybe have a little breakfast and then um, get out into the world, so to speak. I really enjoy cooking this way. It's a little bit more of a challenge. Um, I love using the cast iron pan because it keeps the heat around a lot longer so you can keep all your food a lot warmer a lot longer. And if you really want it to last long, you put tin foil over or a uh, cast iron top. Um, easy to clean up because the oil that you use from either the butter or whatever will tend to uh, coat it so it makes it easier to clean it off in the long run. So I'm gonna finish this up and uh, then we're gonna kinda get cleaned up and get straightened around and figure out what we're doing for the day. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy this and uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna start dismantling this. Uh, it's a pretty basic setup. Um, however, on a few cases, I had to staple the actual uh, um, bug netting to the structure, which I shouldn't have done. In retrospect, I should have made another one by two across and just tacked that on. Uh, but I was just kind of like rushing it, which was a bad idea. So now I'm kind of paying the price. So next year I'll probably just put a piece across there. But for now I got to get it out. It's going to be a little annoying and I have to be a little careful because I don't want to ruin it any more than it already is. There we go. Okay. And then in a little bit I'll back off these nails. So far so good. So now the idea was I gently, very gently, roll it up. Okay, I see what I did here. I uh, just fastened it to the bottom of this. And uh, this is just a, kind of a free-floating piece, but it's not. Um, 
So I'll have to be a little careful trying to uh, uh, roll it up into the bigger one. Crap ton of staples in this one, geez. Well, that's all of it. It's not uh, too much material. Um, However, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up my attic, so normally I just store extra lumber and stuff around the corner there, so I think I'll have to put it up there, which is great. It's a good little storage area. It's out of the weather, uh, so it shouldn't damage it. Um, again, I won't really probably be building too much more uh, this fall, so uh, this will probably work out for the best. And, uh, you know, when the spring hits, we, we throw it back up, and then I get my storage space back. So. That worked out perfect. I'm very happy with that. Uh, as for the door, uh, I think I'm going to probably have to take it with me and take it home. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, the old snow rake back. Yeah, worked out really well. Oh, traffic. Beep beep. Keep on going. Get on it. Hang on. Thank you. What a beautiful day it has become. Sun's out. Hopefully it stays out. So uh, plans have changed a little bit. Uh, I was going to go for a hike and have lunch. And the dog just seemed to be having an issue with all the moisture. Like she has a lot of allergies. So uh, as that's why she has her paws wrapped most of the time. So I was going to take her home, drop her off, and then I felt bad for doing that. So I decided I'd just keep her here and we just lounge down here. So not going to make much for videos, but it's going to be probably just fine for her, myself, and relax. So lunch is coming up soon, so I'll show you what I'm going to do for that. I'm going to have a coffee, chill out, get things cleaned up, a little bit of a mess running around this morning, and uh, yeah, we'll get back at her right after lunch. Okay, so uh, this is what I'm having for lunch. doesn't look like much. You probably can't see that very well. So we're going to use a, a fa broth, and we're going to boil up some beef jerky, mushrooms, and noodles, and then we're going to top it off with uh, a bit of uh, fresh onion just after it's done cooking, and then maybe a little squirt of hot sauce to make it all work. I haven't tried it before. We buy the miso version of this, and it feels like a pretty high-quality product so far, so... Uh, yeah, here goes. Okay, decided to move into the shade. It's way too hot out there. I'm surprised the sun's out. It's supposed to be overcast all day, but eh, it is what it is. So this looks pretty good so far. It's an interesting flavor. I've never had pho before. Um, I've had the miso a lot, and the miso is fantastic. We love making that super simple. You just put some broccoli in it or something like that, maybe tofu, and then you just literally put fresh vegetables on it with noodles. It's absolutely fantastic. The jerky might be an interesting choice, I think. Mmm. No, that works really well. Uh, it's pretty late in the day, so I'm going to chow this down, and then uh, we'll see about going for a walk. We'll see.
that looks kind of neat actually like with these cracks through it like I don't know, it gives it a little character actually. I mean, there's some definite imperfections, but I think that's kind of cool. Like, you won't actually see it most days of the week. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put this, but uh, yeah, I think she'll do all right. It'll, it'll, uh, it'll do the trick. There. She's a little beaten up, but uh, she'll do. Well, I caved. I'm gonna go for a walk, and uh, I will take the dog for a walk later. But just not feeling right now. Probably uh, put that off till tomorrow. Had a little minor emergency, basically. Uh, the steak that I had was sitting at the bottom of the cooler, and it had been collecting water and kind of basically sitting in its own juices all night. And I just felt like that was probably not the best way to have a steak, and so I decided to get rid of that. And it's a bit of a loss, but fortunately the cavalry is on the way with another steak. It's probably going to be a little smaller, but it's still going to be tasty. And uh, so we're just going to wait for that. And But it's like 3 or 4 in the afternoon. Got a lot done this afternoon. And uh, pretty happy with everything. So, uh, yeah, just going to sit back and relax. And then we're going to have supper. I think I'm going to split some hardwood. Uh, just a piece, a small piece. Uh, it's been drying for four months, and uh, basically I'm waiting for about the six-month mark before I store it away. I uh, just want to see how dry it is, maybe test it on the fire tonight. Uh, so I'm going to grab my axe, and uh, yeah, we're going to split it and see, see what it looks like. Well, you know you're close when the marshmallow stops spinning. That's a perfectly done toasted marshmallow. It's not any better than this. Mm. 
Still makes you smile like a kid. Patient pays off.